Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. <laughs> this is for Cancer. So if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, something in this Mamma Jamma is for you. Let's just see what's going on in general first. I'm so thirsty. All right, you have the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant in reverse, Empress in reverse, Sun in reverse, yikes. And the Knight of Cups. I'll go ahead and clarify those and then we'll get into what they mean. I'm here sitting on top of the world. So first you have this queen of swords clarified by the magician. So right now you're feeling pretty clear, pretty in control of things, pretty equipped, ready to take on whatever. There's no fear in your heart right now is what I'm hearing. However, that's actually an issue is what this is saying with the Hierophant in reverse, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. There's like, I'm hearing like faulty wiring. Like you're I'm trying to think of how to, like if you were, if you were using a compass, your moral compass is not calibrated to point north. Like you should be alarmed right now, but somewhere along the way, some decision you chose led to you just being kind of desensitized when it comes to you picking up messages from spirit and from your ancestors um so i know your title yeah i just heard you guys really need a chakra cleanse and a realignment like a reiki session would be great for you or a sample session empress in reverse clarified by the six of pentacles um, your ancestors have been kind of helping you through more than normal until you do figure out that something's wrong. But now that you know, like, they're going to kind of lay back so they can reinvigorate themselves, regain their own strength. And it's up to you to take over and get this figured out so that you don't get hurt or anything. Or just fall into, like, a low negative energy or whatever. Um, Sun and Reverse, clarified by the Page of Wands. I am hearing that something is going to be a wake up call to you sometime soon. Not anything super major, but it's like something someone says is just going to click and it's going to make you start thinking back on how the last maybe month or so has gone and you're just going to be like, oh shit, now everything's starting to make sense. Knight of Cups, <laughs> King of Wands, I'm hearing that you're going to speak to somebody close to you about this and they're pretty much just going to be like, yeah, I know that. And you're going to be like, well, why didn't you tell me then? And they're going to be like, I thought you knew, but you just didn't care. So it is a genuine miscommunication. I can see how that would be annoying. Definitely would get on my nerves. Like if you see me doing something wrong, you're supposed to be, and you're supposed to be my friend, help me out. Let me know. Because there is a chance that I don't know it was wrong. Because why would I just be doing something wrong? You know what I mean? But at the same time, to them, it was so obvious. So how are they supposed to know that it wasn't obvious to you? So it just be like that sometimes. Give them grace. Now we're going to dive into a few different categories. And the first one is love and relationships. What's going on in that area of your life? You have the king of wands in reverse and the two of wands in reverse. So I'm showing that. I'm hearing getting lied to, like things are just not what they seem there. I'm hearing manipulation, power control, kind of stuff like that. So if you're in a relationship and you feel trapped for whatever reason, like they manipulated the situation to make you feel that way on purpose because they just wanted to have power over you. So Spirit is saying just know that you can leave at any time. I'm hearing that these are not people who will get physical if you leave. They won't go that far. Like they're just banking on the fact that you're afraid of them and they don't think you'll do anything. But definitely something to get out of. Next category is family outside of romance. 
I feel like we neglect that area a lot. Romance is not the only important relationship. Okay. Eight of Wands in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, so things are going pretty slow due to your lack of foresight when it comes to family as well. People in your family also notice that you've been making like what they consider out of character decisions for yourself. I'm not hearing like that a lot of them are upset or disappointed, more so just confused and wondering what's going on, but wanting to pretty much just mind their own business. Nine of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, when you feel better, definitely talk to them about it because they'll have some valuable things to say, but it's like right now you can't really hear them. So just wait until you feel a little bit better. Now we will ask about money and career. What's going on in those areas of life? Four of Wands, the Observer in Reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. So money's looking good. If nothing else, money is A-OK. -okay. You definitely have things to celebrate at work. I'm hearing that some of you recently got an award or you got some type of promotion. Congratulations on that. Very excited. And this is letting you know with the Six of Pentacles, your ancestors definitely helped make that happen because they felt like you deserved it. So know that you're at least doing a good job there. Now something about your health. High Priestess, Ace of Wands in reverse. King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Wands. So with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands in reverse, I'm hearing that you've just recently started having problems with your stomach, but it's like you haven't gotten to the point where you're thinking it's abnormal. You just think like, oh yeah, my stomach be hurting sometimes. But Spirit is saying follow your intuition. If you feel like something is more wrong, definitely go and get seen because the sooner you catch it, the better off you'll be. With the King of Swords in reverse, clarified by the Queen of Wands, they're just saying definitely be checking in with your body more than your mind because mentally you want to be okay because you don't want to have to like take the time out of your day to go to these appointments and then do whatever the doctor tells you to do. Um, so check in with your body more like, okay, I'm definitely still uncomfortable despite what I'm thinking I want to do. So I should go get seen. And last, we'll pull a couple oracles and we'll get on out of here. What's something you should do this week? Bust out of your cocoon and change tracks. There's something you've been thinking about speaking up about, but you've been afraid of what people's reaction is going to be because you don't want to be misunderstood. It's something that's like close to your heart. Spirit is saying, do your best to just think positive about it so that you manifest a positive outcome. But definitely go ahead and speak your piece. It'll be more worth it than not worth it no matter what. So that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, of course. And if anything here made you think, you know what, let me get a reading. You can book one with me through the link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.